So in this problem, we have two slits, and light is passing through these slits to hit a screen that is at a distance of one meter away. So one meter away, which I'll define as L. So there is light coming through these slits and hitting the screen at different angles. We can call those angles theta with respect to the horizontal. And the problem is asking about the distance between second order fringes. So fringes meaning places where there is constructive interference. And we can define the locations where there's constructive interference using the variable x, where I'm using x to represent the distance between where the fringe, where, where a fringe is, and the central point between the slits on the screen. So this is just a good opportunity to use our formula for constructive interference, which states that d, the distance between the slits, multiplied by the sine of the angle theta, is equal to m, representing the order of the slits we're looking at, multiplied by the wavelength of the light itself. We don't know what the sine of theta is, but usually in these problems, we can assume, almost always, we can assume that theta is so small that we can use the approximation telling us that sine of theta is approximately equal to tangent of theta. This is true for very small angles, and we can assume it's true in this case. And if we assume that we can replace sine theta with tangent of theta, then if we look at the diagram we drew, we can see that the tangent of theta, remember that tangent is opposite over adjacent, is equal to the x variable divided by L. So our interference equation becomes d multiplied by x divided by L equals m lambda. The problem is specifically asking for the distance between two fringes. So we're looking for some relationship between x's. So let's algebraically rewrite this equation to solve for x. So we multiply both sides of the equation by L and divide both sides of the equation by d to see that x, the vertical displacement along the screen of the fringes, is equal to lambda multiplied by m multiplied by L divided by d. What the problem is specifically telling us is that light of two different wavelengths are passing through these slits. So we're going to look at two different forms, two different versions of this x formula, where the only thing that's changing is the lambda value. So for example, we'll say x1 is equal to lambda sub 1 multiplied by m multiplied by l divided by d. And then x sub 2 is equal to lambda sub 2 multiplied by m, multiplied by l, divided by d. So the, the only thing changing between these two variables is the lambda value. So now that we have that sorted, we're looking for the distance between these x's. So we're looking for delta x, or x sub 2, let me draw that a little better, minus x sub 1. So this is equal to lambda sub 2, m, l, divided by d, minus lambda sub 1 ml divided by d. Or a way we can simplify this is to just factor out everything except for the lambda values. So we can put in parentheses lambda sub 2 minus lambda sub 1, close the parentheses, and just multiply by ml over d, because all those variables are not changing from one case to the other. So now that we have that sorted, now let's substitute in the values that were given to us in the problem. So lambda sub 2, I'll put the larger value first so that we can get a positive number. We're just looking for a distance anyway, so only a positive output is being asked for. So yeah, that's 720 nanometers minus 660 nanometers of wavelength. And to convert this into meters, I'm going to multiply this in the parentheses by 10 to the power of negative 9 meters. This is multiplied by m. Remember that m is the order of the fringe, and we're told in the problem we're looking at second order fringes. So m just becomes 2, and then l is 1 meter. That's the distance between the slits and the screen. And then we divide it by d, which is the distance between the two slits. So that's 6.2 
times 10 to the power of negative 4 meters. If we put this into a calculator, then we get a distance between the two fringes of about 1.935 times 10 to the power of negative 4 meters, which we can round using unit prefixes to about 0 0.2 millimeters. And that is our answer to this problem. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing as it'll help me out in making more videos like this. Or if you have a question about something, leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to help you out. That's all for now, and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye-bye.